your time here? Oh, Macon was, uh, for me growing up, I, I would hear the stories of old. So this was one of the things that was still thriving, I guess you would say, for downtown Macon. Um, so we would come downtown and I record my, my younger projects here. Um, and it's just, it's just so cool, you know, coming into a room. It gives me a lot of energy, you know, coming back and just remembering everything. Um, you know, it, so, yeah, yeah. Tell me about a, a special memory or a favorite memory you have. Oh, favorite memory here. I guess, um, I guess going, we used to sneak down to the echo chambers in this building and kind of hang out. <laughs> so, yeah. And that was one of the special things we, we do coming down here, besides just recording and just being in all the different rooms. But yeah, yeah, that was one of the things. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, you've seen what, what this building was before. Yeah. Um, you know, now it's changed a lot. What was it like for you to first, to first walk in here and see the changes? Uh, it, was, it was cool because I, I came into the wrong side, uh, starting <laughs> off. So walking into the live room, it was like, wow, this is so different. And you smell the paint on the walls and you smell the newness, the freshness. And you walk around. And I, this is really cool to see um, the new studio for the live room. And it just shows you the possibilities of everything that's, that's being connected. And then once I walked through the threshold of the, the Studio A, everything just tingled on me. I mean, just, and it wouldn't stop. I was sitting there talking to Bob Johnson and he was just like the same thing. He, w he was in here in the 70s watching my, watching my dad record, and he was just telling me so many stories, and I was relaying the stories that I had as well, as a, you know, after those years passed, and it's just like amazing that it still has that juju, you know, to it, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a story he told you about your father that you'd like to share? Maybe now. They have so many. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have so many of his friends still around. So to hear the infinite amount of stories that they tell me, there's they're, they're so many, there's so, so many that, you know, we'd be here forever, but most of them good, and uh, some of them shouldn't be told on camera. So, <laughs> yeah. so you know, are you looking forward to maybe recording anything? Yes, yes, yes. So we're, I'm, I'm gonna rec start recording my album in well, March, maybe. So the plan is to come down and do some of the vocals here. Um, I don't know if I'll get the full band here, but hopefully we'll get a full band take of something here. It'll just be great to get it from the ground up, but that is the plan. It's in the works, so yeah. When do you expect the album? Uh, I'd say late next year, maybe fall, um, September-ish, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that's a goal, that's a goal. Um, is there anything that you're expecting to see come from this, this building? Um, I'm expecting the new wave of musicians to continue on here. Because once, once again, like growing up here, nothing was uh, of that option for musicians. It was boards around all the businesses that you see thriving now. We heard the stories from our parents, you know. So to um, know that other cities do somewhat of the same thing or have the somewhat of a model of a studio environment for musicians to come and feel safe finally you know I'm so glad that my hometown you know is we're we following that in that vein now you know finally so I'm hoping that it really uh, gives everybody a, a, a great energy and a, a good plug to keep going forward so yeah is there anything else you'd like to add no no I, I, I think I, I think um, just besides being happy to be here and back in this building um, I'm blessed to be around this crew and very thankful. So. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.